Hi there, John Rutman from RacersEdgeBooks.com here. And uh, I want to welcome you to this video. We're going to go through our Racers Edge race cart setup software. This is actually a spin-off from our race car setup software. Um, the two are very similar in some aspects, but anyway, I want to go through this and show you how this, uh, how this program works and then let you know that we have a special going on this program right now for a limited time so um, if you want to get your hands on this now's the time to do it so anyway let's get into this right now first and foremost you must have Microsoft Excel uh, loaded on your computer okay you either need to have the Excel program on there or you need to go to Microsoft.com and download uh, Excel viewer okay it's a free program um, that you can download directly from Microsoft in order to view these files and use this uh, use this program okay so that's the first thing that needs to be said second there are four parts to this program okay the gear ratio configurator which we'll go through the tire temperature averaging program the scaling program and then the tire stagger program okay all four of these pages get saved in the same Excel file when you save this and I'll show you exactly how to do that at the end of this video okay and we can go from there all right let's start with the gear ratio configurator okay first thing if you want your constant gear ratio all right you need to put in your tire circumference let's just say that's 39 inches okay so you punch in 39 gear number let's say it's a 58 gear okay gives you a constant gear ratio of 0 0.672 all right so all that gets configured for you you just need your tire circumference and your gear number all right now if you want your gear ratio you need to input your um, number of clutch teeth we'll just say it's 12 okay how many sprocket teeth you have and let's say there's 70 on that sprocket, okay? Gives you a gear ratio of 5.83. So all that gets configured for you. You just need to know those four pieces, all right? That's basically the, uh, the gear ratio configurators, all right? Now let's go on to the tire temp averaging program. Basically what you do when you get done with the race, you should take your tire temperatures, okay? And you should take it the outside edge, the middle, and the inside in three spots across the face of the tire in order to figure out exactly where that tire's at temperature-wise because it will vary from inside to out or outside to in, okay? You need to take those 12 readings, write them down, and then input them into these three boxes under each of the tires, okay? And I've left this, I've got these three pre-filled, I've left this one out. Let's go with, uh, let's say, 174 in this one. Let's say 176 and 179, okay? Just for demonstration purposes, okay? What that's going to do is take those three tire temps, okay? Give you the average temp across the face of the tire for each of the four tires, okay? Then it's also going to take these six temperatures and figure out what the front average is. It's going to take these six and figure out what the right side average is. It's going to take these six and figure out what your rear average is. And then it's going to take these six and figure out what your left side average is. Okay? Very important when you're setting up your cart. All right? Not only that, but we're also going to tell you what your right front and left rear average is, which crossway it is there. Okay? And then also what your left front and right rear average is. So very important information for uh, for setting up your race car or setting up your race cart, excuse me. So there's how the tire temperature averaging program works. And then we're gonna go to the scaling program. Now if you guys have uh, don't have digital scales and you're using grain carts or you're using some other type of scales um, with a you know bathroom scales with a big old arm or whatever you're using you can use this in order to figure out the percentages and the total weight and that type of stuff. All you need to do is type in the four corner weights and everything else will get configured for you. Okay? Now, 
I've, I've got these three punched in, okay, already. I'm going to punch in the left front here, and we're going to go, let's say that's 60 pounds, okay? It's automatically going to configure the total weight of the cart, all right? It's going to configure the left side percentage, the left side weight, the uh, rear percentage and rear rate weight, excuse me, and the rear bite that you have between the two tires, okay? It's also going to figure out your cross weight percentage and your cross weight total weight, all right? So it's very easily to configure. If you've got digital scales already and you want to save the setup, bring it up what those are, punch in those four numbers, and save this and I'll show you how to do that pretty quick as I said earlier okay you can double check the numbers this way and go from there all right you can, there's also a spot in here to put ride heights if you if you measure your ride heights when you're scaling there's a spot to put those in there as well all right so there's the scaling program the next program is the tire stagger program basically you just take and put in your the rollout of the tire, 35 inches, 37 inches equals 2 inches of stagger. If we make this 38, it's going to change that to 3 inches of stagger. Okay? So you can just keep track of your stagger setup for the set, or your stagger numbers for the setup. Okay? There's also a spot in here where you can put your tire pressures in before the race starts, what you set the tires at uh, for tire pressure. Okay? One other key thing I need to mention is each page has a spot for the date up here you can type in, and also each page has a spot for notes all the way along here, okay? So you can put notes anywhere, you can put dates. I guess this one doesn't have it, but the other three have a spot for the date and the notes, okay? So now the coolest thing about this is being able to save these all in one file, and here's how you do it, very simple. Just go up here and click on File, click Save As, all right? Up comes a, a pre-made spot in my documents that I got, My Documents, and I got Race Cart Setups 2012, all right? I got Daytona Speedway in here just for something fun with the date, today's date that I'm actually uh, doing this. And um, so that's, that's one. Now, if you want to do this again here, let's just say, let's just go with... Um, um, let's just, we're going to go with the local track here. Uh, Raceway Park, which is a local track near me. And we're just going to go Raceway Park 3412 and hit save. It's as simple as that. All right. Now, if you want to go make sure it's there, save as. There it is, Raceway Park, 3412. All right, all you need to do is click on My Documents, Race Cart Setups, or whatever you name that folder, okay? Whatever year it is, 2012, 13, whatever. If you want to go back and put 11 and 10 in, that's fine. Uh, for that year, and you can go to whatever race, race you want and whatever setup you want in order to be able to duplicate that setup or take part of that setup and then make a couple of changes from your notes down below and be able to make it work yet. So... Anyway, that in a nutshell is the cart setup program. So it's pretty awesome. We're pretty pumped about it, and um, we wanted to share that with you. So um, about the special, you can go to, oh, Racer's Edge car setup program. <laughs> we're going to take that out of here, and we're going to go cart setup program software. Okay, there you go. Now you can go get your, your copy of the Racer's Edge Cart Setups program software at www.racersedgebooks.com or you can click on the link below this, okay? It'll take you directly to that page. We are running a limited time special because it's getting to be spring. Everybody's got the racing fever. So we're running a special. This software program will only run you $9.99 delivered directly to your email okay so uh, click on the PayPal link in there and get your cart setup program for $9.99 uh, you can use 
credit card, you can use the debit card, you can use your PayPal account, whatever you want. I think there's even a spot where you can use an e-check in there. So anyway, go there, get your copy of this program, and put it to work for you. It saved our butt many times. So it's a great little software program, very, very cheap and uh, inexpensive uh, investment for your racing program. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. Good luck at the track. We hope to see you in victory lane soon.